Hello and welcome to the casting table from Apocalypse Movies, the show where we take a character, whether it be from comic books, animated shows, history, anything of such, and we cast them in our own minds, the actors and actresses that we would love to play those characters. I am Jacob Bartley and I am joined by Brian Avalicino to my right and Jake Berlin over there behind the controls, engineering everything. And today we got a fun one. We're going to be casting Craven the Hunter. Now he is a Spider-Man villain. He is a character who is obsessed with the hunt, creatures. killing, yeah, the hunt. creatures, um, specifically like unique creatures, unique creatures, like men, half beast, half men type creatures, and he's just obsessed with it. And yeah, the hunt, like mm -hmm. you say, and uh, he is, you know, he's a Spider-Man villain that we've been wanting to see for a long time, that fans have been wanting to see for a very long time, and he is. The thing I like about him as a character is like he doesn't. I mean, he doesn't have superpowers, right? Nope. That's what I love about him is like he's going. Or Are you does sure? he? No, I he's just know. he's just jacked and he. Or maybe maybe he's, he's like a good a hunter. Superhuman? I don't know. No, I'm gonna look it up. Just keep talking. Yeah, but I just either way he we know he's not like he's not like a Doc Ock or a Green Goblin or those these characters who who have these very unique supernatural powers. Um, and I I just like that about him. Um, and and he just I think the way you can tell his story and the way you can bring him in is very real world and that's what i like about craven yeah. hunter um you what do you guys you guys like the character? i've actually been wanting to do this casting for a long yeah, we've talked time about it. um he has a very very interesting backstory uh so very interesting I backstory grew up heavily with the spider-man tv show the i want to say it was like 1995 eight four one of those um and he was one of the main bad guys that I loved whenever he came on the show because he was just such a jerk and <laughs> always going after Spider-Man and saying, man, yep, crazy. And they're yeah. not going to do those crazy outfits. In the movie, <laughs> I bet you they will. Maybe his big puffy stuff. Uh, like it's going to be a, animal, a variation oh, exactly, of it. Yeah. yeah. I can't wait for I've been waiting for this for a long time. The only thing is. I don't want him to be a son a Sony vil like Sony villain. I want him to be a MCU villain. Like yeah, well, I don't want him he's to a be Spider Man villain. So. I know, but and I'm I have a feeling it's gonna he's gonna come in like Morbius is doing. I would much rather see him come in like Mysterio did, but yeah. we'll see. I it's yeah. I don't know. I because I love he's probably in the top five of my favorite spider-man villains i think it's great because he's so different compared to normal villains yeah and uh i think there are variations of him that they give him like super strength and stuff but the main craven doesn't yeah. have he's just a human not have superpowers he, well he's obsessed with yeah. essentially making sure the world knows that he's the best at what he does without any kind of uh, yeah. addition um yeah. and you know the hunt is like you had mentioned the hunt is what he does and uh he prides himself on taking down large animals or unique creatures with his bare hands as the biography puts it yeah. so um it's just a unique and different kind of villain and, and he yeah, he, so. he does have one of the most famous comic book spider-man arcs in all spider-man yeah the last so time. he's he's someone that that a lot of people wanted and it kind of fits with the way the the mcu storyline for spider-man is going yeah, right now if it works say, yeah because yeah. the way uh far from home ended mm -hmm. spider-man is on the run and the That's government can hire craven or he assume. can go after him yeah and, and yeah. it could just be a thing where spider-man is wanted and he's like exactly i'm gonna be the one who catches him exactly just goes after him on his own or yep. maybe norman osborne hires him some something like that it's I exciting be pretty cool yeah but either way However he appears, whether it's in the Sony-verse or the MCU, we're going to be casting him today. And um, it's an interesting uh, person to cast because, you know, you, you want to try to go comic book accurate. You want to choose um, – you said he is of Rus Russian descent. Mm -hmm. But it's – you know, there's not – at least a, we don't know a lot of, you know, Russian actors who – so it's kind of hard to choose. I would love to choose a Russian actor to play him. And there's probably actors – that we don't even know are Russian, that, that are just actors that yeah, we know. Yeah, totally. But either totally. way, you know, actors are actors. They can play people of different races and Do you know like Mila that. Kunis is Russian? She yes. speaks fluent yes. Russian. See, like, but, she, like, her 
her uh, accent is just American, so like yeah. we wouldn't know that. So there's probably an American male actor like of that course. that we don't even know. Um, but I'm curious, because like you said, Brian, the thing about this show is like it sucks when somebody chooses yours. So I'm curious who we should go to first. I kind of like you can let Brian go yeah. first. Okay, you can me. let Brian go first. Let's go with Brian uh, so first. I know my second one's gonna get picked by someone. I've actually had these this two is your number one choice. Yeah, that yeah. you're saying first. I've yeah. had these two picked out for like a year. Like I'm not kidding. Like I've been waiting for us to do this one. Um, my first choice it sucks because I know my second choice is going to get picked and I wouldn't mind either of these two do you is, know? um, uh, Gerard Butler. I, Oh, nice. Here's the thing. <laughs> nice. He, he can be big. He can have that like p- huge aspect that Craven kind of has. And his, his accent would be so perfect for this. Like, cause Craven is, has a thick accent like that's how i remember him as a kid this strong accent this big jacked guy that is like i'm gonna kill spider-man and i could see him playing that so perfectly like it doesn't like you said it doesn't need to be a russian they can spin it he could be whatever nationality but he would be so perfect for this (laughs) role so perfect that i would be so happy if he got this role He'd be so That's perfect. That's a great cho- choice. I didn't even, like, I should have thought of him, but I didn't think of him, and I would be very happy with that. I think Gerard Butler is underrated. I think he, you know, he should be in more movies. He's one opinion. of the best action heroes out there. Yeah, he definitely is, and there's not a lot of action stars out mm-hmm. there these days, and he's still one of them. So I, that is a, that, and he's and he, not in the MCU. It's hard yeah. to find an actor who's not in the MCU these days, and he's not in the MCU, so I, I would love I that. will say this. If they don't let him use his real accent, I don't want him. I want that real accent. His real accent. So well, yeah, so that reminds me like I wanted I wanted to choose Carl Urban, but he oh. he is already was the um executioner in Thor yeah. Ragnarok. Yep. And again, he was great in Thor Ragnarok, but that was uh, the side character mm-hmm. and it's kind of sucks that he's Yeah. That, that was his role in the MCU. Fair enough. Um cuz he he would be great in that role. Um Jake, any thoughts on Gerard Butler? Uh, I think he's great. I mean, I he's one of those guys that I wish he was in more. Um, he kind of gets overlooked uh, a lot of the times and he's kind of got stuck in this mold of being like the Olympus has fallen guy or stuff like that. And a lot of people don't cast him. And, um, so I wish he wasn't more and I think he'd play the role great. I really would, you know, he, he can be that brooding force, you know, he can be that serious guy that people take serious. And, uh, so I would definitely not be, uh, upset if he was cast as the character. Absolutely. Um, so I guess the way this goes, we'll just go to the left. And I I'm take, fine with that. I hope I don't take yours. I'm fine yours. with that. It's all good. I really hope I don't take yours. I don't think you're going to take um, his. I think you're going to take mine. Yeah, I don't think well, anybody's going to take what? mine. Jake always has very unique choices. And a lot of times actors that I'm not very familiar with. So probably not. But um, when I was looking at my list, I had a couple. And then I thought of this one name and I was like, I swear to F awesome. if you take this. I'll, I'll be, be so sad. No, I. Th- there's one guy... And I don't think you're gonna think of him. There is one guy that you could take, you could take from me. Oh, okay. So we'll see. Um, and yeah, I just think I'm just imagining this visually on screen. I think it would be so cool. And that choice is Daniel Craig. Oh. Um. I oh. Oh, I didn't even think awesome about that in this role. He, I would. Well, I want him to play Craven as a Russian character. And I, he can do accents. Very yeah, his well. southern accent was. Um, I think he would kill it. First of all, acting wise and doing the Russian accent, I think he would do well at that. That's, and that's also, a very good choice. He's wow. Do the physicality of it. Wow. Obviously, he's been Bond for how long now? A decade. A while since '06. Yeah, a while. I mean, there's not there's not been that many movies. Only four so far. Yeah. Going into a fifth, but he can do the physicality. He can pull it off. As far as an actor goes, he's not in the MCU yet. I as soon as I saw his name, I was like, "Yes, that's my number one choice for Craven." So I would cast Daniel not Craig as bad. Craig's not I bad. I was not expecting that. Neither was I. That's a shock right there. Yeah. Wow, it's I a, like it. it's I like a it. shock yeah. that I like. I like that one. Interesting. Okay. Yeah. Um. All right. Uh, <laughs> you're not gonna. You're not gonna pick. I won't pick it. I promise. If some, look, here's that's the what you said about no, Alexander. It, trust me. For her I, trust me. It, it won't cares happen. If someone takes your second choice, I it's am all about I, your first choice. It's all about your first choice. Trust me. Trust me. Nobody's going to take this choice. 
Um, okay, so my guy, uh, I, I actually, my three guys, any of them can be my number one, really. Any of them could be, uh, I go back and forth all of them all the time. Um, but this dude is just brooding. He's a badass. He's played two incredible characters for me personally over the last decade, and that is Manu Bennett. Oh, Mr. Deathstroke himself from Arrow. Was that the one you um, thought I could have taken? Yes, okay, and yeah. he also played Crixus on Spartacus, the TV show that on is Stars. A great choice. Um, That's a great choice. Very unknown compared to a lot of the movie going audience. He's not, you know, the the Gerard Butler or the Daniel Craig's of the world. Um, he played an incredible Deathstroke, pro- the best live action Deathstroke we have so far, the only one really, um, yeah. at the moment. Um, but he's serious. He's uh, he he's action oriented. You know, he's done a lot of TV series. But if you give him a chance in a movie like this with this type of role, he could absolutely crush it. Is he British? Uh, sure he I have his IMD up. I B IMDb up. He's New Zealand. Oh, okay. uh, he's from New Zealand, so he, he has, has an accent. accent well. um, yeah. And he's just he's just a dude that puts everything into a role and plays these types of roles. Like if like yes, we saw a lot of people are going to know him from Spartac or uh, Deathstroke and Arrow. Um, but I'm telling you, his role is Crixus. He plays a villain in that role. He's a he's essentially an antagonist, and he plays it perfectly. Um, you hate this guy. Uh, the way he plays the role, and that's kind of what Wasn't you want. Wasn't he in that Shannara Chronicles? Yes. Yeah. And and you kind of want that to be the Craven. You want to hate the guy for what he's doing. And I think that you know, um, I love the idea of casting someone who has like a major popularity with just an average audience. But to me, casting someone who uh, is a great character actor that is very well unknown is much more the way to go, in my opinion. And this guy, he just fits the mold. Dude, so. that is awesome choice because I. I do really value like not having a very well known actor mm-hmm. in the role because, you know, ever at this point everyone knows Tom Holland as Spider Man. Yeah. So, you know, you have him and it's like I love Jake Gyllenhaal as Mysterio, but it, it is there is that little party that's like only seeing Jake Gyllenhaal on screen. So I do think Amanu Bennett for well, we know him, you'd be like, That's Destro, but yeah. a lot of people would <clears throat> this would be their first introduction to him and he's such a great actor, mm-hmm. he deserves that shine so i, I and love it what the thing with craven is everyone has to remember like he he towers over a lot of characters he's yeah. huge tom holland's not the biggest guy so you don't need the biggest guy to play craven because yeah. all he has to do is be bigger than spider-man yeah. man who bennett's a little bit of a shorter guy but he's gonna tower over tom holland as spider-man which why it, that that helps a little bit so definitely yeah well it's quite funny Ryan, it's quite i know what you're saying i think i know, I know your second you choice know is. who my second yeah. is uh, Which is why he's not my second choice. Yeah, I have uh, no idea. Sticking to Deathstroke, I uh, oh, that's not who I was thinking of. Why? Who were you thinking? I'm not gonna say. Go on. What's your second choice? <laughs> uh, I <laughs> am picking Joe Maganello. Yep. I think nice. he is just this ginormous man of a man, <laughs> a man of a man, and it would just be so menacing as this guy that's trying to hunt literally hunt spider-man wait so you flash thompson from the original spider-man yep. movies yep. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much that, that'd be a cool tie-in like just he played hey Spider-Man and sam and... raimi's coming back to the mcu there we go oh, there you go so um <laughs> yeah that'd be cool if sam raimi did spider-man 3 oh. and he had and he cast joe magno oh my Craven. god damn <laughs> Be he rewrited his wrongs with Spider-Man three to do Spider-Man three. Spider-Man 3. Oh my god! <laughs> but uh, he would be. I could just see him. He's a in, badass man. And I is. could see him in the like fur outfit, just like with some sniper and just like ready to kill Spider-Man. And like, he's a towering dude. It, he's, he's a huge. towering dude. He's Absolutely, huge. Yeah. So like, oh, I could. I could lit- between those two. I would be jumping up for joy for either one. I that's why I'm saying literally like if it, I mean, either the most could, Brian's ever been for a casting stage. I'm not kidding. Been I've been wanting table. to do this one yeah. for a while. Well, it wasn't even supposed to happen this week and I just kind of threw it on you guys. Yeah. So so like I was like I didn't even have to like search people cuz I've been waiting for, with these two in the wings like Whenever we say Craven, then it's done. So, but yeah, he's a great choice, man. He and obviously it doesn't seem like they're going forward with his Deathstroke, which is a a major bummer. Yeah. Um, 
let him take on a role like this. Definitely go from one villain to another and kind of be this character that goes throughout multiple films. That'd be awesome. Yeah, he would be. I, I would love that. Honestly, all of our choices so far, I would just be over the moon about. Yeah. yeah. Um, and I am pulling an audible. I had another choice, but I, I thought of something else. And you guys kind of got my mind going. And I, I think this would be really cool. And um, so I was thinking of big guys. And I th- think that jason momoa could pull this off he fits he fits he's the craven mold. I think he, he 100 fits the craven mold look he's still gonna be aquaman for a mm-hmm. long time to come and that's fine and look craven i don't want him to be he might be a one and done even if he is a main villain in one movie he's even if he appears again it's gonna be in smaller roles right kind of like loki he's not uh he's a pretty big sinister he's, six he's, villain. well no he's he's the founding member him and doc yeah, Ock. yeah but yeah either way after that one movie where he's the main villain he has the most screen time he's never gonna have that much screen time again is what i'm saying oh, oh yeah i'm saying jason momoa wouldn't have to dedicate as much time to the craven role as much as he would to the aquaman role. yeah so and a lot of people like talk about Jason Momoa for Wolverine or other heroes in the MCU. He's perfect for Craven. I would want him. I don't want him to just play. If you're gonna do DC and Marvel, like at least play a villain in one and yeah. a hero in the other. Don't play a very popular hero in both. Yeah. Because that's just kind of contradictory. But it doesn't matter. But it's kind of contradictory. So I would. I think. Can you imagine him? I don't know if he would do an accent or not. Maybe not. Whatever the case may be. But he would be very. He wouldn't be like his Aquaman character. He'd be, be very toned down, very serious. And Cal Drago. Wise. Cal he, Drago. He can't really get can much he, more like, perfect. Cal Drago. Can you imagine him going after Spider Man? Cal yeah. Drago. It would be awesome. Yeah, exactly. Cal, Cal Drago. Exactly. All, all Cal Drago. Come home by. His, all like, you need is Cal Drago. Yeah. That's all you gotta say. Holding Spider. That's all you gotta say. Is Cal Drago. Yeah, or something. Exactly. Yeah. That's all you gotta say. It's amazing. No, that I. That would be awesome seeing him play a villain in, in one universe, yeah. and then and look, he's t- he talked to Marvel in the past. He was supposed to be Drax. Oh, that's he was, right. Yeah, he was supposed to be Drax, and he declined the role because it wasn't originally when it when he first got um, when he was first talked to the role of Drax, Dave Bautista's Drax, wasn't the Drax that they pitched. Yeah, and and so if it was a little bit of a different Drax that we have now, he might have taken that role. Um, but he clearly has interest and he he knows them. And so Kevin Feige has talked to him before. And so it, it could happen. But I think the question may be is if WB allows him to. Yeah. I don't know if it's in his contract or anything. You can't play another character. But Maybe not. He, I mean, he's the prototypical... Unless it's in his contract, they can't say anything about it. He's yeah. the prototypical character or actor for the role because he's got the hair. He's huge. Absolutely, he's muscly. Yeah. And yeah. like you can see his hair into the outfit. Yes. He, could, he could pull the comic book outfits off. Oh, like, absolutely. Yeah. 100%. Absolutely. Um, okay, so for mine, uh, my number two, uh, I went... I went with unknown, uh, at least for for the majority of movie going on. It's probably almost everyone, and it's by a, gen- a gentleman named Clive Standen, and he plays Rolo on Vikings. Oh, okay, um, you and you're your, always pulling you're Vikings. Always Vikings. Pulling Vikings. Look, I need to watch Vikings. Man. Look, I need to watch Vikings. Vikings. We, we've the past two people we've casted, uh, Hercules and Craven. They're both Viking-like t- characters. They are True. like medieval swords. You know, Craven's yeah. like this. You know, Russian dude who comes from the wilderness type crap, and you know it just fits with Vikings. But he plays Rolo on Vikings, and he's the he's uh, Ragnar Lothbrok's brother, and so he's Alexander Ludwig's uncle in the show, who I casted as Hercules last week or two weeks ago. Um, this dude's awesome, and he's huge. Yeah. He's a psychopath in the show. He rips his shirt off and just like goes crazy with like. <laughs> cutting people's heads off and stuff and it just fits for the role obviously he'd have to dumb it down because the show's a little bit more violent than craven would be um but he's from northern ireland so he's got a heavy accent uh, he doesn't have to do an, an irish accent but he can probably do some kind of different accent um and again it just goes to the unknown thing i think i i, I don't know why but over the last couple of years, I've really liked the idea of casting unknowns in roles because yeah. they kind of get to build it around themselves rather than have the character built around them. Um, and so, well, look at Tom Holland; he wasn't well, exactly, unknown. exactly. And so, it, I, I just like the idea of that, and you know, it also helps because you don't have to pay the dude a lot of money, and you can maybe give him like a six movie contract for something that would be worth like a superstar's one movie contract, and, and it would just it would lengthen his time in the movies of the universe and. Um, I also think this dude is very talented and he's kind of underused in Vikings at the moment, but, um, yeah, seeing, going from Rolo to, to, uh, Craven would be awesome. 
would be awesome. This would be if I I would have said him just. Out oh, of I'd be so mad. Yeah. I'd be like, you watch yeah, effing exactly. Vikings? I just started watching it, man. Like, I don't know. <laughs> we need to start every, for every casting. Just find I'm Vikings. I'm gonna go through all the Vikings <laughs> IMDb yeah. page and just random try to find Viking actors. Yeah, <laughs> we'll try to just <laughs> narrow them out. <laughs> They're not even gonna be a good fit at all. No. Just, <laughs> just try to stop. Jake uh, from... I mean, Brian and I we were talking like a couple weeks ago, but um, the woman who plays Lagatha in the show is the perfect fit for She-Hulk. So, oh, nice. Yeah. Do you watch Vikings? I watched the first season. Where does it air? It's on History Channel. Yeah. Really? Mm-hmm. Wow. It's that's effing awesome. It is effing awesome. It's a pretty awesome. popular so show. So is there a way to access the seasons somehow? I think it's on Prime, but I think you might have to buy buy them oh, per okay. episode or per season. So you watch it weekly as mm-hmm. it airs? Wow. Never miss an episode. Awesome. That, that's. I mean, I don't Effin- know anything about Dude, it's, it's violent. Actor. And but badass and you just talk about it all the time, so I gotta take so it out. Good. I gotta so check good. It out. Cause like it's more consistent not, than Game of Thrones. Not that it is like Game of Thrones, but like I need that fix again. That it's the it's the small scale of Game of Thrones. It's yeah. it's not as many storylines, yeah. but it's more consistent than Game of Thrones. Yeah. I, I don't want to say Vikings is sword and sandal, but it's that kind of feel, you know? It's it's in the midst of Vikings discovering that there's a world outside of theirs and yeah. they're raiding other countries and exactly, stuff. Exactly. Which yeah. is I mean, just imagine that. But I mean, like, come on. How, Blood how and, violent does it get? Oh, violent. Yeah? Violent. I'm just curious how far History Channel goes. History Channel goes far. Do they really? They go far. Yeah. So earlier I saw do, they did a George Washington movie. Maybe I got to check that out Dude, now. Okay. History Channel is awesome. And a uh, plug, Mr. Josh McCuga himself just got a show on History Channel. Yes, he did. Uh, an eating that. show, Eating yeah. History. So that's his show he's been working on. So uh, March 11th on a Wednesday. That's great so perfect. Uh, for dude, it's, yeah, it's awesome. So yeah. I'm kind of jealous. Jealous now that everyone's going to know who he is. I know, right? He's, he's yeah he's gonna blow up once the show drops <laughs> absolutely so all right so honorable mentions do you guys have any honorable mentions i had a couple do you i have one but go ahead no you go ahead no you go ahead well you were first you go ahead uh <laughs> i had uh, um one of them was um i don't know if you know him but uh from orange is the new black Pablo Schreiber. Oh yeah, I believe. yeah. He was also in another HBO show that only had one season. He was on. He was also in the Den um, of Thieves. He's the first person Den of who Thieves. Comes up when you type in Pablo on. Yeah, yeah. he is or, awesome. Google's listening he to is you. now. Uh, Jacob, you might. He might. He Canadian was in American actor. Okay. Oh, I know who he is. He's, he was in Thirteen Hours of Benghazi with John Krasinski. Okay. I, he was in that movie I've too. I've seen him in stuff before. Yeah, he's yeah. he's he's big. Mm-hmm. He's a big dude. He's, he's awesome. Tall. Yeah, he's, he's great. A tall MF. He's really good. He was one of the guys I was considering too. Um, oh crap! Where'd my oh? And my other one was um, Jeffrey Dean Morgan. I think he's too old for me. That's the only thing that yeah. came to me. Uh, he might be a little too old, and I would be a little bit afraid that he would play like the cool, slick Craven because he's very good at being like oh, that. That's like, where I've seen him in his Weeds the show. He was on Weeds the show. Hmm. Yeah. Um, but Jeffrey, yeah, yeah Je- Jeffrey Dean. The problem with I. I'm okay with it if they cast him. The problem is I go back to the character he played on The Walking Dead. Uh, Negan. Negan. I always thought of Negan as like this super serious brooding guy, but he was like jokey. Yeah. And I didn't and want that. And I don't want that to Craven. Yeah, and that's what I would... And he seems to do that a lot because mm-hmm. that's how his character well, was. Well, he's, just, he's and, a very watch, suave type of guy. And watch, very suave uh, type of guy. Watchmen, that's how he kind of was mm-hmm. too. So well, that before would be, he died within five seconds. Yeah, that's true. Um, Spoiler. But um, <laughs> yeah, no. Those three would be... I'd be really happy with you. Yeah, I just have one honorable mention, really, um, and that is Brad Pitt. I I think Brad Pitt would do a great job. I went I went to site, and the site had him as number one. Really? Yeah. Oh yeah, and especially like I was just like searching around. Him in Once Upon a Time in Hollywood, dude is mm-hmm. still in shape. I and hey, hopefully he can improve his accent skills though after watching Snatch. Um, but I do think if he did it, he would try to do the Russian yeah. accent. Yeah. Uh, I have one, and I'm surprised. I'm really surprised Brian didn't pick this. Luke Evans. Oh, he was on my radar. That's a good one. Mm-hmm. Luke That's Evans, good one. Uh, again, popular to, popular to us. He was the villain yeah. in Fast and Furious Six. He's not an instantly recognizable. Face exactly, he's yeah. in a lot of small things. Um, he was in the movie last year, uh, Ma, with Octavia Spencer. Yeah, so he isn't well, in a he lot. He was Gaston which, from Beauty and the Beast. Yes, yeah. and he he sh- he should definitely be getting more roles, in my opinion. Um, but he's a big dude. He, he's a very yeah. big dude. He, a lot of people recognize him from the Hobbit movies. Um, he, he has the long the hair. The, he has the long hair in those movies. Oh. He's, yeah, uh, so he's like the main human character. Yeah, in, in that from Hobbit. that town that smog destroyed. Yeah. Um, and so uh, I think that he could he could definitely crush this role. I didn't pick him because I don't know. I felt like he would 
there's something else. I don't know what that he would work better in. I just, I don't know. Hmm. I don't. Okay. Fair enough. Interesting. Well, that's going to do it for this episode of The Casting Table on Apocalypse Movies. There you have it, our Craven the Hunter choices. I might even make Jason Momoa my number one, to be honest, because I didn't even think of him. <laughs> we'll have to reshoot this. I don't, dude, I don't know. Daniel <laughs> no, Craig fine. is a pretty really solid like choice. Craig. And honestly, I would probably go Daniel Craig first because he's not in a superhero franchise. Well, and his franchise all. is ending this year. Yeah. So, and you don't, again, you don't have to dedicate as much time. For well, actually, going. he has a franchise now that it got a sequel. Knives yeah, Out. Knives so. Out. Yeah. But that's not as physically demanding. Demanding. yes it's, it's more yes. of his acting skills which is awesome um well there you have it again i am jacob bartley this is brian avalacino that is jake berlin plug our next character if it works out yes and so what we had planned today look is, at the um, grin i know just got <laughs> just a second. <laughs> next episode as long as we can get at least geo brian and i because we're most familiar with the character is lord zed from the power rangers he is for me, he's the best villain in Power Rangers. I, I love me some Rita, but she's a little wacko. Um, <laughs> Lord Zed is the Power Rangers villain for me. And so we're going to... And he's hard to cast because he's like, you don't... He's, he's not masked. really human. Is he masked? No, he's literally just he's muscle. He's like an alien, kind he, of. Oh, so that's his face? Yeah, yeah. that's his face. Oh, okay. Um, he's so, literally just... The, so it would essentially be a voiceover role. I, yeah. I think it would be practical effects. That's it, fair. It would be practical effects. They would probably still, try to make a face out I of it. I still think it would be cool. You know, you can change it up a little bit. You yeah. can you can make him um, more humanized. But yes, we're hopefully we'll be casting Lord Zed on the next casting table. Again, thank you all for watching. Subscribe, comment, let us know who you would cast as Craven. See you all next time.